Hi guys, welcome to our lesson on God's good plans for our lives. Today, our Bible story will be out of the book of Genesis and we'll be learning about Noah. But before we start our story for today, we're going to be singing our memory verse song. Remember, our memory verse is Jeremiah 29 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Okay, let's stand up and sing our song. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster To give you a future and a hope They are plans for good and not for disaster To give you a future and a hope Let's keep on standing and sing some more praises to God.
part of God's plan for our lives might mean doing things differently than other people. Can you think of a way that Noah was asked to do something different from other people? Let's learn this story and find out. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moss, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. Being different can be hard, but when being different is part of God's plan for our lives, just like it was for Noah, we can know that it's for a good cause, that it'll be good for either us or good for others in our lives. Noah was asked to live differently, and he ended up saving his whole family and tons of animals. You know, speaking of animals, let's test and see what we learned today by listening to our good friend, Space Goat. For thousands of years, people have looked up to the stars and wondered what's beyond. Thoughts of distant galaxies, strange planets, and possibly even life unlike any we've known on Earth. But no one could have ever imagined in the deep expanse of our universe lives one furry creature with four legs and a jetpack. Bah. 
His name is Space Goat, and he's here to help you. And he's here to help us. Here to help us answer life's toughest questions. What set Noah apart from all the other people who lived on Earth? Was it A, Noah lived righteously? Was it B, Noah had the golden ticket? Or was it C, Noah was indestructible? The correct answer is A. Noah lived righteously, which set him apart from all other people on Earth. Well done, cadets. How long did the Lord make the rain flood the earth? Was it A, to infinity and beyond? Was it B, 40 days and 40 nights? Or was it C, 365 days. That's correct, cadets. The Lord made the rain flood the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. Well done, cadets. What did the dove bring back to Noah? Was it A, a one-up mushroom? Was it B, junk mail? Or was it C, an olive branch? That is correct. The dove brought Noah an olive branch. Well done, cadets. Until next time, stay spacey, cadets. How did you guys do on that quiz? I hope it wasn't too tough for you. But I hope you know that when God asks you to do tough things and different things, that you listen because you know it's part of God's good plan for your life. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.